Hello everybody, it's Rob here. Rob Bidoff, would you like to see a picture of me when I was about nine years old? There I am. Notice the perfectly round head. <laughs> that was me when I was at primary school and the reason that I put a picture of me when I was at primary school in this book is because this book is called Show and Tell and it's all about some primary school children who bring some cool things in for show and tell. Now then, you might have guessed I'm a children's author and an illustrator. If you haven't seen Show and Tell, maybe you've seen this book here called Grr, all about this bear, called Fred. Maybe you have seen this one here, Odd Dog Out, all about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs. But the reason that we are here today is to do a drawing. My computer's beeping, I'm just going to turn the sound off there, there we go, they won't interrupt us anymore. Ringo will probably interrupt us, but the computer certainly won't anymore. Right, so yes, we're here today to do the drawing. So there's my piece of paper, and the character that we are going to draw today is from this book here, my very first book. It's called Blown Away, starring Penguin Blue. Now, Penguin Blue, this is what happens in the story. He has a kite, he goes out flying his kite, there he is, with his kite, on a very windy day. He ends up getting blown away, look, and a couple of his friends, Penguins, Flo and Jeff, they try and help him, but look, they all end up getting blown away. They find a seal called Wilbur. Maybe some of you have done my Wilbur seal draw along, I don't know. Um, and he tries to help them, but look, he gets blown away too. And then eventually, they spot a little polar bear. Can you see this polar bear? bear? who's fishing. Now polar bears, all these other guys, they live in the Antarctic, which is in the South Pole, but polar bears, do you know what? They live in the North Pole. So right on the other side of the world, and lots of people have said to me, well, why have you got a polar bear in your story with penguins and seals when they just don't live in the same place? And I say, well, if you look closely at the book, you will see this map here. Let me turn it around so it's the right way up. Can you see that map? Where is it? There it is, there it is, there's the map. And you can see that it's fallen out of Clive's boat. And look, it says, it's got a little little X going from the North Pole down to the South Pole. So he has followed this map. He sailed all the way down to the South Pole because that's where the best fishing is. And that's where he is fishing. So there you go. That's why there is a polar bear in this book. It's all explained if you look hard enough. But can you see, look, Clive here, he tries to help, but he ends up getting blown away too. And look, the whole gang get blown away across the sea. And they end up in a place that they're not used to somewhere where it's much too warm if you are a polar character. Anyway, I thought today I would show you how to draw Clive, the polar bear. So listen, this is what you're gonna need, a piece of paper, a pen, something to draw with. I'm gonna be using my Kurataki Mangaka flexible pen. I know some of you have bought yourselves these as well. The reason I like them is because they're brush pens. If you push a bit harder, you get a thicker line. If you push very light, you get a nice thin line. And I really like to get a bit of line variety in my drawings. So grab yourself a pen. It doesn't matter what kind of pen or a pencil, a piece of paper. And let's start drawing, shall we? This is how it will work. I'm gonna draw a little piece of, little bit of my drawing here on my piece of paper. Then you can pause the video and you can copy exactly what I do and start it up again. I'll draw a little bit more, then you copy that. Then I'll draw a little tiny bit more, then you can copy. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And then we're gonna end up with a lovely picture of Clive the polar bear at the end. Right, okay. First things first, what do you need to draw? Right. Okay, we're gonna start at the top of our page today and we are just gonna draw a little horizontal line in the top middle part of our page. Just a little horizontal line like that, not too long. Nice and easy start. Then at each end of that horizontal line, I want you to draw a little loop like that, going out at a sort of 45 degree angle. So two little loops like that at each end of our horizontal line. So it looks like sort of two little hooks, I guess, doesn't it? Okay. Now, inside each of those little hooks, I want you to draw another little sort of semi circle archy thing, like that. One in each side. And then along the bottom of those little ones you've just drawn, just draw a little line, just like that. You can go slightly over the ends, like that. Okay, next, what I want you to do is put your pen 
just at the bottom of the hook on the right hand side and we are going to come down and we're just going to go towards the middle in the diagonal line like that and I want you to do exactly the same on the other side but the mirror image like that okay and then why not join them up with a horizontal line like that okay and this is going to be Clive's head so these are his little ears and this is his head he's got a very little head and a very big body Clive okay let's give him a nose shall we so towards the bottom of this shape I want you to draw quite a fairly decent size sized rectangle just like that sort right in the middle Maybe even a little bit bigger and I want you to colour it in with whatever you're using Do you see I sort of went over the edge at the top there when I coloured so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so I can neaten off the whole thing so even though it's a mistake, it doesn't matter. Then you start again. Just keep going. Okay, now then, from the top right-hand side of that nose shape, I just want you to draw a very thin line that goes to the top of his head like that. And then the same on that side. Very slightly at an angle going in. Both of them slightly going in. So not that straight, just slightly going in like that. Okay, this is gonna be his nose area. And then his eyes are nice and easy. Just neck in that sort of corner that you've made with your thin line in the top of his head, I just want you to draw just a little black dot. One on that side, one on that side. And there we go, there is Clive's face. Isn't that easy peasy? A crucial part of Clive is his eyebrows. We're gonna, his eyebrows are high above his eyes, but they've, they've escaped from the top of his head. But there we go two little eyebrows for our Clive. <laughs> oh, I really like Clive actually. Every time I draw him I think, oh, maybe I should write another story or especially for Clive. He's a cool character. Okay, now, as I said, polar bears, they have a really small head at the top of this enormous, powerful body. Polar bears, if you have a look at some video of actual real life polar bears you'll see they're really big and strong you can see the rippling muscles in their backs and their shoulders and their arms and legs they're really really huge strong animals i would not like to come face to face with one out in the world i tell you that for nothing so we're going to add this great big body for clive so what i want you to do we're going to put our pen in the corner of where his ear joins his head like that and we are going to start coming down our page at a slight angle like that and then we're just going to go out a little bit as we get towards the halfway mark then you can see we're sort of coming away from his head but then I want you to straighten up straighten up as we go down towards the bottom of the page until we're going slightly in and then we're going to stop about there at the bottom of the page and this is going to be his sort of shoulder area and right down to his feet and we're going to do the same on the other side. This time, because he's slightly facing this way, very slightly, I'm going to start just down here a bit. Okay, and this time I may, I'm going to do it roughly the same shape, but maybe very slightly. Slight difference. Is that a slight angle? We're not really that much different. We're going to come out again, we're going to straighten up and head down right towards bottom of our page like that and stop when we get level with the line on the other side. So he looks a bit he looks a bit like a big milk bottle, doesn't he? With a little polar bear head at the top. Maybe that's a good way to think about it when you're drawing. Okay the next thing we're gonna do we are gonna draw a horizontal line a couple of centimeters long just coming in from that side like that. Then we're gonna go up a little way not far about that far. Then we're going to go across. Then we're going to go down. Then we're going to join up again. And there we go, we've got the silhouette of our bear's body. These are going to be his little feet, his little legs and feet. We just do little short legs. Let's give him three claws on each foot. We're going to do one right in the corner there, just a little black shape like that. We're going to do one there, and then we'll do one about halfway across his foot like that. So his feet are sort of pointing inwards. We'll do the same on this side. One, two, three. There we go. Clive's feet. 
And then the last bit of Clive, really, is, is his arms. He's got these huge, powerful arms. Now, I don't know if you drew Fred the bear from my book, grew with me but you remember I always draw bears arms quite low down on their bodies I sort of feel that they've got these like huge long areas up to their heads when they stand up you know they, their arms they just seem sort of quite low down their body so we're going to start his arm about here so more than halfway down his body and um, we're going to just come down at a slight angle like that and then we're going to curve around and we're going to go to about halfway across and then we're going to go back up again. Like that. There's one of Clive's arms. And then let's do the same on the other side. We'll start here this time. We'll come down, we'll do them sort of almost meeting in the middle. Down, around, and then back up here. And there we go, there's Clive's arms. Now we've got to give him some claws. So this time we're going to do the claws. We're going to do them a bit longer on his hands. They're going to sort of be pointy like that. There's a thumb one. I'm going to do one, two, three. Okay. Just give him the thumb up here. One, two, three, four. There we go. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly, aren't I? There we go, there's Clive's paws. And that's pretty much how you draw Clive the polar bear. He's a nice, easy one. I might make, make his claws on his feet just a little bit pointier to match the ones on his hands. There we go. So Clive is a very, very simple character to draw. Now it's time to color him in. Now it's up to you. Polar bears are white, so you could just leave your character like that. I'm not going to do much to mine. I'm just going to add a little bit of light blue, just shading around the edges a little bit, just to make him feel a little bit more solid. But I'm not going to do too much, so it's up to you um, uh, how much you want to do. I mean, I would leave him white if I was you. It'd be quite nice. But you can have a look and see what I do with my light blue pen and pencil and see maybe if you want to do the same thing. And you know, oh, drop the pencil. Let's pick that up. You know that I like to add a bit of texture in my fur. And of course, polar bears are very furry, so you could, you'll see when I've finished, I'm gonna add lots of little tiny little lines just to make my bear feel a bit kind of furry. So, as per usual, I'm gonna go into super speed mode because I'm a super fast colorer, and I'll see you again in about 30 seconds time. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so there we go. That was quite quick, really, because you don't have to add too much color to a polar bear. Although, things that are white, often they're not just white. If you look closely at something that's white, you can really see some other little colors in there. So for example, my polar bear, if you look at the polar bear, you'll see in the shadow areas, maybe it's reflecting the sky. So that's why I've done some sort of blues and sort of mint green colors there, because he still looks like a white animal, doesn't he? Even though he's got blues and greens in there. So that's just how kind of colors work. And I think if you really, if you really want to be accurate with what you're drawing, you have to really, really look at it really carefully to see what colors there are. Now then, I just need to add a bit of shadow, don't I? So I'm gonna add a sort of scribbliness just around the feet of my drawing of Clive here. A little bit of blue, just a little scribbly bit. Just like that, make it get a bit bigger actually because he's quite a big animal. I've got a slightly darker blue here, which I'm just going to add right next to the feet like that to make it really look like it's a solid shadow. And there we go, there is our finished drawing of Clive the polar bear. And I'm just going to sign my name here at the bottom. We'll do the full signature today, I think. There we go. Rob Biddle. And that is how you draw Clive the Polar Bear from my books Blown Away and Sunk. Don't forget, 
get somebody to take a photo of your drawing and then you can post it on social media using the hashtag draw with Rob. That way is the most likely way that I will get to see your drawings. I do get thousands and thousands of drawings. So it's very hard to comment on everyone's, but I really do do my best. And then at the end of the day, as I'm sure you know, I try and put a grid together of um, about 80 or 90 of the drawings that I pick randomly, totally at random. So fingers crossed yours will make the grid today. Now I really hope you've enjoyed drawing Clive with me today. I've really enjoyed showing you how to draw him. What I want you to do is take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, look after your parents and everybody around you, be kind to each other. And I'm going to be back very soon for another episode of Draw with Rob. In the meantime, take care. <laughs>